across the world. In India, consumer price inflation eased during March-April 2023 and moved into tolerance band, declining from 6.7% last year, that is 22-23. Headline inflation, however, is still above the target as per the latest data and is expected to remain so according to our projections for 23-24. So when I say headline inflation is still above the target, I am referring to headline inflation as per our assessment will remain above 4% throughout 23-24. Therefore, close and continued vigil on the evolving inflation outlook is absolutely necessary, especially as the monsoon outlook and the impact of El Nino remain uncertain. Real GDP growth in 2022-23, on the other hand, turned out to be stronger than anticipated and is holding up well. The policy repo rate has been increased by 250 basis points since May last year and is still working its way through the system. Its fuller effects will be seen in the coming months. Against this backdrop, the MPC decided to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. The MPC will continue to remain vigilant on the evolving situation and the growth outlook. It will take further monetary policy actions promptly and appropriately as required to keep inflation expectations firmly anchored and bring down inflation to the target. With the policy repo rate at 6.5% and full year projected inflation for 23-24 at just a little above 5%, the real policy rate continues to be positive. The average system liquidity, however, is still in surplus mode and could increase as rupees 2000 banknotes get deposited in the banks. Marginal standing facility and the bank rates they stand at 6.75%. The MPC also decided by a majority of 5 out of 6 members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns with the target while supporting, the, supporting growth. Let me now explain the MPC's rationale for these decisions on both policy rate as well as the stance. The MPC recognized that the pace of global economic activity is expected to decelerate in 2023. That's in the current year. And this is mainly because it is getting dragged down by elevated inflation, tight financial conditions and geopolitical tensions which are still continuing. The pace of monetary tightening has slowed in recent months, but uncertainty remains on its future trajectory as inflation continues to rule above targets across the world. And in the last few days, you would have noticed that uh, two major central banks have, uh, after adopting a pause for several months, they have gone for uh, uh, increasing the policy rates.